In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your custom post type to your Show It website. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so here we are again in the good old WordPress dashboard. And if you remember from the last video, what we've done is we've set up a custom post type called team members, where we're going to add all of the employees for our fictional company. So we've gone into the CPT UI plugin, we've added that post type, and here they are. Then we've come over to our team members post type, and we've added individual team members. We set the name of the employee as the title, we've said a little bit about them in the, uh, in the content, and then over here on the right-hand side in the excerpt, we've said what their position is. So this is Ryan, he's our CEO, and he's great. The problem with the way things are now is that it's actually not showing up anywhere on our Show It site. Now, do you remember that when we created this uh, custom post type, we told WordPress that when you go to the About page, that's where these should be displayed. So here we are on our About page, but when I scroll down, they're nowhere to be found. And, and the reason for that is that Show It doesn't actually know that it should be looking for them, right? We, we haven't told Show It what to do with this post type, and so therefore it does nothing. So now we're gonna go into Show It, we're gonna change a few things around so that it knows what to look for. So here I am on the Show It template that I'm working with. This is, again, our free Monstera template that comes with every Show It subscription. So what I'm gonna do is first, Take the about page that we've got here, and I am going to turn this into a blog template because only blog templates can access what is on the WordPress side of things. So the way that I'm going to do that is select the about page and then say copy to WordPress, and then bam, it shows up right down there. Now for simplicity, let's go ahead and delete the static page, and we are just going to take this dash one away. All right, so there we've go. We've we've got our about page. Now what we want to do is tell show it what template or what WordPress template this needs to be used as. So the way to do that if you select the name of the page above all of the other canvases when you're on the page tab here, there's going to be some options that show up. And the first one is the one that we're looking for, that template info. If you look down, you see that you've got this, this little drop down menu where you can choose from a ton of different WordPress templates. Now, if we wanted to, we could just choose archive right? Because remember, the archive template is what WordPress uses to display a list of custom post types. So the archive template for team members is where team members would show up. If you had other custom post types, like if you had a design template custom post type, there would be a archive for the design template, so on and so forth. For any and all custom post types that you create, WordPress is going to have an archive page for it, right? So we could just say that we want this template to be what is used for all archives, right? So that would mean that every single custom post type that you have is now going to look like this, like this about page. So that is one way to do it, but we're gonna do it a little bit differently because we want a lot of flexibility and a lot of creativity. We might come back in and create a, a another custom post type that we want to look completely different. So the way that we do that is if you go down to custom, we're gonna add in a custom template name. And what we wanna add is archive dash and then whatever the slug was of your custom post type. So for us, if we want to figure that out, you just go CPT UI, add edit post, and then click that edit post tab, and then select the post type that you're wanting to work with. And then I'm just going to copy and paste that right into there. Okay. So now we've got that and we're just going to hit publish. And then that is going to shoot over to the WordPress side of things. 
And so let's see what happens. I'm going to force generate this theme just in case it's not working. I'm going to refresh, and lo and behold, the post types are not there. The employees aren't showing up. So we got a, a, a few more steps. We now want to tell this page where to pull in those posts, just like we would do for our blog page, right? So on our blog page, you can see here, we've got this one section that we've told, like this is where we want you to pull in the blog post. And then it does that. And then if there's more than one, it'll repeat that and loop through until it's gone through all of them. So we want to do the same kind of thing, but we want to do it for our team members blog post. So let me just quickly walk you through how to do that. So I'm just going to take this canvas and we're just going to repurpose it for team members. I'm going to come through. Let's just get rid of all this stuff right here. I don't need any of these things. So get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, and a few more to go. And boom, there we are. Oh, we got to unlock it. And then there we go. Okay. So let's make this a little bit skinnier. And then I'm going to change a few of the settings on the canvas over here. We don't want this to be the, the window height because, you know, what if we have more employees than, you know, is in just this one canvas? Th then that would mean that the canvas is going to loop again. And that second canvas would be the entire height of the window or of your browser. And so that just, that's huge. That's going to be a lot of space to scroll through. So we want this to be a normal canvas type. And then what we want to do is up here on the WordPress selection, we want to change it from static content to in post loop. That's telling show it that this section of this site is going to be looking for WordPress stuff, but we're not done there. We need to mock up what we want these posts to look like. So let's let's do that now. So the first thing we're going to add is an image, and it can be an image of anything, but we'll keep it true to form. We'll, we'll keep it looking like Ryan here. And let's turn on our canvas guidelines, our columns, and let's turn on some snapping because that's always fun. So, all right, so I've got Ryan's headshot. And then we want to come in. Let's add a title. And let's make this the width of that headshot. Let's take down the font size a little bit, just in case there's anybody with a really long name. We don't want it to like, you know, break and then go down to the next line and maybe cover up something else. Um, shout out to anybody who grew up with a long name. My full name is Christopher. And so oftentimes in forms, it was Christoph because the ER wouldn't fit on stuff. So I feel your pain, my long friended brothers and sisters. Okay. So we've got our name and I'll just change this to say uh, name of employee. And then let's add something else. We'll add like a little subheader. And this is going to be the employee position. We want these all to be the same length. And we'll go ahead and we'll make this on left align. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit because I still think that's just a tad bit too big. We'll bring this down to 14. I typically never go underneath 14 pixels. It's always a good rule of thumb to kind of stay stay above that. So, okay. So we've got that. And so this will be how it's, we, we want it to be displayed, right? But now we, we've got to tell WordPress and show it what each of these elements represent, because right now it would just show up as a static element, even though I'm in post loop. So if I hit publish, and do that, and it'll come through, I'll force generate this theme. You might or might not have to do this, depending on how you're doing things. I'm gonna refresh, and there we go. And so something interesting is happening, right? It is pulling this, and it's repeating it three times. Now, why is that? Well, that's because in our team members, we have, we have three posts. And so it's saying, oh, I need to repeat this three times because it's got three posts in here. If we had if we had five team members, it would do it five times. But but this is not what we want, right? So let's go back and and finish things up. So first thing that we need to do is 
add some properties to these elements. So we're gonna select the image and we wanna tell it that this is going to be the WordPress featured image. So this is gonna pull in here and say, okay, this is supposed to be the featured image. Oh, that's the featured image. And then it's gonna replace that content with the content from WordPress. Let's do the same thing for the title. We'll go to text properties and we will give it the post title placeholder. It doesn't need to be an H1 or even H2 tag. We'll make it an H3. And then we'll come in here and do you remember what we put as the employee position? It was post excerpt. And so that's what we're gonna do here. This is uh, not an H3, we'll make it just a paragraph. And so now it's going to pull in all of those things from the WordPress side of things. So let's let's see what it does. Come in here, I will go to settings and then force generate that theme and then pull it over. Okay, so now we've got all of our employees showing up, but this is not really what we're looking for. I, I'd kind of prefer that they are side by side. So let's go in here. The way to do that is we're going to add some canvas views. So we've got three, we want them to be three side by side on this canvas before it loops or repeats. So we'll do three canvas views. And then I'm just gonna go through and copy and paste and do that again and have them show up three by three the way that we want them to. So let's put this guy in the middle and then let's have these be right there and right there. Okay, so that's looking good. Now let's put these in the canvas views so that it does what we are wanting it to do, okay? We'll put that in the first canvas view, second and the third. Now, the final thing that you want to do is select this little checkbox that says combine views as post. That way it doesn't repeat the same post over and over again on the same canvas. So I published it, force generate the theme, and whammo blammo, there it is, my friends. They're all showing up looking really, really good. All right, you did it. Congratulations, you got your custom post type to show up on your show it site. But if that weren't enough, there's one more thing that we can do to add even more creative freedom to how we display our custom post types. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a single page for each of these team members or each of these custom post types so that it can look different than the way your blog post looks. So stay tuned, I'll see you in the next video.